Fixing the head tracking lag and the bad IPD are actually fairly simple. To fix the IPD, go ahead and launch the Oculus Config Utility. And then we're going to go ahead and make a new profile. Call it War Thunder to keep it simple. And then say OK. Not that it matters, but you can then go ahead and pick your gender, punch in your height. And then we'll go to the Advanced tab. Here, go ahead and set your IPD to what you normally would use. And make sure Enable Personalized Rendering is checked. Say OK. And close out here. Be sure to select the War Thunder profile before launching the game and use your other profile for anything else you do with the Rift. Next, we're going to edit that profile directly by browsing to C, Users, Your Profile Name, App Data, Local, Oculus. The file name you're looking for is ProfileDB.json and we're going to open that up with WordPad. This is where all the information for the profiles is kept. Scrolling through the file, you'll notice the names of the different profiles you have in the Rift Utility. We're looking specifically for the War Thunder one we created here, and there's a value called i 2 nose dist This is the one we're going to modify. Pretty much find the decimal point and add a zero on both of the numbers. Once you've made your changes, go ahead and save the file and close everything else out. Next up, we have to edit a value in War Thunder's config in order to fix the lag you get with head tracking. You can cheat by right-clicking on the shortcut to your game, bringing up its properties, and then saying Open File Location. Otherwise, just browse to where the launcher.exe or aces.exe are located. The file we're looking for in here is called config.blk, and once again, you can open this up with Notepad. This file is a bit longer, so if you want to go ahead and just control F or do a search for Oculus, it will be the second instance of Oculus you find. That will bring up the section in the config where you manage all the settings. The setting in here we're after is prediction enabled. It defaults to no, so you'll want to edit this to be yes. This will get rid of the lag when looking around that can make you quite nauseous. You can also edit the field of view here with mixed results, but it does let you tweak things a little bit. But the most important part is prediction enabled set to yes. Go ahead and save this and close everything out. With your Rift powered on, go ahead and launch the launcher. In the advanced settings, you may need to adjust the renderer. For me, I got a black screen unless I chose DirectX 9. I know other people that can have auto or DirectX 11 and have no problems. But if you come up with a blank black screen on your Rift when the game launches, try DirectX 9 and try bringing your settings down to high. Going above high or above 9 on the render would get me a blank screen. Once the game launches, you'll see the familiar two images you got every time before. Except now when you're looking through, you can actually read the text. Everything isn't doubled up and it doesn't feel like your head's going to implode. The head tracking should be very crisp and pretty much instantaneous. And you can look around, read, everything works really, really well. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message.